Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Badger's Picks for the week of September 9th. We're going to see who's free this week and what four champions I'm going to recommend. Free this week, we have Blitzcrank, Heimerdinger, Jarvan the Fourth. We also have Kale, Kennen, Misfortune, Nocturne, Shen, Twitch, and Zyra. And as for my first pick for this week, I'm going to go to one of my go-tos, one of my favorite champions. I'm going to go with Zyra. Now, Zyra actually, I think, is still in a decent spot. She does die pretty quick, but she still brings a lot of damage to the bot lane. She was really popular last year, especially when um, Annie's support was popular too, because you could bring just a bit of uh, extra damage to your lane and really secure kills early on in the game, kind of have a strong lane. She still does that. Unfortunately, she does die quick. We, we do have that with Zyra, but she does deal a lot of damage. Another thing I really do like about the Zyra support is the fact that if an enemy team is all about diving in and getting to your backline and killing your carries, Zyra is perfect for dealing with teams like that because of her ultimate she can cut teams right in half when they try to dive in, which separates usually those assassins out from the rest of the team, and they can get killed real quick because no one is going to come running across the Zyra ultimate because they're just going to get knocked up and take a lot of damage. So she does a good job at peeling in those big chaotic brawls if they're going to dive in on you. So that's one reason why I still really like Zyra. She, uh, she's squishy, got to be careful with her, but besides that, she can usually do a lot of damage and help teams out. As for my next recommendation for this week, I'm actually going to go with Jarvan. Now, Jarvan's seen a little bit more play recently, um, just all over the place. Um, he's had some changes over this season, just um, some small ones, but they've helped uh, change him into just a little bit better champion. They tweaked his passive, which was a big help, actually, and then they, they helped with a few mana costs, which has always kind of plagued Jarvan um, in the past. So his play has come up a little bit, and he's still in a good, powerful position. You can play him in the top, you can play him in the jungle. He still has decent ganks, he still has his cataclysm, which is still pretty good, and uh, a little bit of a shift in just changes in champions that people are playing. Um, a little bit less of them are being able to escape Cataclysm with the few that I can think of off the top of my head. So Jarvan's in a good spot too. You might want to try him out if you're looking for anybody for top or jungle. As for my next pick, I'm going to actually go with Kale. Now there's a few reasons for this. We did see some Kale rise back up in popularity a few months ago, but then when everybody started playing Maokai and a few other tankier top laners and just few shifts in meta of what people have been playing, um, Kale kind of fell off. Now Kale is still being played um, professionally in Korea, I believe, a little bit. But one of the big reasons why I think people should try out Kale this week is because of the rise of Zed coming back. With the changes that happened to him, it's a good way to start knowing how to play Kale if you don't already, or if you're looking to try someone new. Kale's ultimate is a great way of negating his ultimate completely and a lot of his damage, which shuts him off. Also, Kale just naturally does really well against him in lane because of the advantage in range and because of a few other reasons. But Kale, just a pretty good champion and would be great for countering all the Zeds that have kind of recently come back up in popularity. And as for my final pick for this week, I'm going to go with Misfortune. Now, I know Twitch is in this rotation and his assassinations are pretty good. If you want to be kind of like a solo assassination um, split pusher later on in the game, he can do that. But I think Misfortune's actually in a decent spot. She's been tweaked um, early on in the season and it didn't catch up really or catch on a lot. But uh, she's coming back in popularity a little bit recently because of the arcade skin, which is awesome. So that's another reason why you should play her because it's actually really cool looking. But, um,. She's still fun, and I still think she's not terrible in lane. And if you have somebody in your lane that's a support with high um, crowd control, like a Leona or Thresh or Braum, um, her ultimate in lane early game does a lot of damage. And if people sit in it and soak up its damage, she can pick up a lot of early game kills, and it translates into a pretty good late game. So if you're looking for a new ADC to try out, maybe you want to try out some Misfortune. Those are going to be the champions that are free this week. I can already predict that in the comment section, there's going to be somebody who says, I'm not playing this week because Blitzcrank's free. Oh my god, the grabs here. Yeah, I don't have any sympathy for you. It's really not that hard to avoid him. Um, but yeah, he's free this week. Just play him. Who cares? It's one champion. Um, those are the champions that are free. Obviously, you try out any of them. Obviously, disagree with me on Blitzcrank because you probably will, or some of you will, or somebody might. Who cares? But try out any of the champions I recommended. If there's a box around any of these pictures right now, that means you can go ahead and click on it, and it will take you to a build of some kind, whether it is a quick build or a full-length build. Um, check the descriptions if I've updated anything there, if it happens to be a little bit older of a build. But if not, then chances are it's probably still pretty close to being correct, Amundo. Other than that, though, just good luck out there this week on the Fields of Justice.